So in this video, we're going to look at question four of the matrices from the 2018 further math exam um, from the NHT. So in this question, we've got areas of farmland in a region allocated to those types of growing, those types of um, things like barley, corn and wheat. Um, and it's changed every year beginning in 2019. And in this table here, okay, shows the areas of farmland in hectares allocated to each crop in 2018. So that's what we call n equals zero. 2019 is n equals one. So the the plan annual um, change to the area allocated to each crop can be each crop can be modeled by this. And we've seen this before. This is essentially the same as nn plus so sn plus one equals uh, t for transition matrix. Your sn plus depending on what sort of textbook you've used or whatever, it's some um, q or here as a, as a forcing matrix, and that's where it's either you're you're stocking or reculling or whatever it happens to be. Okay, so before we start anything else, keep in mind this is t. If you used to use seen as t, sometimes in these exams you've got to be conscious of that. What this is here, so the 2018, we, we that's essentially h0. So h0 is equal to 2,000, 1,000, 3,000, okay? H1 is equal to 2,100, 1,900, and 2,000. So we've got to keep those in mind as we go through this. Okay, so now, now we've got H0 and H1. Now you don't have to write them like that. I'm putting it there to, to show you what you need. But essentially what this question's asking, when we come down to it, it's after H2. So we're going for H2, okay? Now to get H2, what we need is, so if we use this formalism here, we're gonna go H2 equals R, which we've got, that's our transition matrix. We'd need H1, which we've got, plus Q. Now, Q's the one we don't have at the moment. So as I said, Q's what we're after. So we haven't actually got Q. So what we have to actually do is work out and solve for Q is our first step in this, in this question. Okay, so we do have H1 and we do have H0. So let's actually go one, one step back. We've got, in this case, we've got H1 equals r h0 plus q now we've got h1 r and h0 okay so so what we can do is write that out now i'm not going to write the r in what i'm going to write next just purely because of a time thing because it takes too long to write out but if i write it here if i go 2100 1900 and 2000 now that is for my um, for my H1 equals R times 2,000, 1,000, and 3,000 plus Q. Remember, we have this, so we have R, so we don't need to, don't need to actually, I don't know, it's not right at this purpose. Okay, now, what we need to do is calculate this, this value, okay? And then we work, we can, from that we can work out, we can work out Q. So what I've added here is what you, you can put in your calculator. So this is your, in this case, your R value, and this is your H0. And when you do that, you'll get this result here. You'll get that there. So what basically what that means is you get 2100, 1900, and 2000 equals um, 1800, 1600, 2600 plus Q. Okay, so this is basically where we work out what Q is. Because what it, what it means is Q, for me to go, so for me to go from, I'm gonna actually change color. For me to go from here to here, 
that's going to be where Q would be. So if I write that there for Q, I'd have to have 1800 go to 2100 would be 300. Okay, from 1600 to 19, so from here to there, because that's what, what's basically happening when you've got this forcing term in here, that'd be another 300. Okay, and then go from 2600 to 2000 would be minus 600. So now I've worked out what Q equals. Q equals that matrix there. So now I can go ahead and work out H2. Because remember, now I've got, I've got H1. Oops, sorry about that. So now I've got H1. So if I want to work out what H2 is, I'm going to do that here. I'm just going to make sure I fit this all in. H2 equals um, R, which we've got. I'm not going to write that because it takes too long. Um, and I've got, in this case, I've got, uh, what was H1 again? Well, H1 we've just calculated here, it's actually here. 2100, 1900, 2000. And now we've got this thing here, we've got 1800. Oops, shouldn't have put that last bit. 1800. Uh, what, am I, what am I thinking? I've got the wrong numbers here. I'm looking for 300, 300 minus 600, okay? And when I do that, so I'll go R, so the transition matrix times H1 plus that forcing term, that will give me an answer of 2160, 2430, 1410, okay? So if we're going to put that in our answer thing here, we'd go 2160, 2430, and 1410. Now that's a, this question here is a two mark question. So it's a bit of work to do a two mark question, two mark question, but the key point here, as I said before, was you need to work out Q, and from once you've worked out what Q is, you can use that to work out H, um, H2, okay? So that's that video.